So what's going on YouTube? Ty back again with another video. In today's video, I'm doing a update on acorns. So I've done plenty of videos in the past on acorns, the pros and cons, everything in between. But this video is an update. If you're unfamiliar with acorns, acorns is just a investment robo app that will take your spare change and run to the next dollar. So you go to the gas station, you spend you no know, $20 and 90 cents so the roundup feature will kick in will take will make it $22 or $21 to the 10 cents with the 90 and and they'll put into acorns and once it gets to $5 it'll invest in a stock market for you um I like it because a it's pretty much hands off and b I look at it differently than anybody else. So you see that I have $123 invested in my account. Go to my roundups here. Um, you see on my roundups here of uh, stuff I bought in the past. But I had last year I had over four or five hundred dollars in acorns. And I don't do multipliers. I don't put money into acorns. I don't throw ten, twenty dollars in there. I use it just for the um, the roundups. So this hundred twenty three dollars was over two months of me just using my debit card as a regular to get this money. Now for me, it's just another high yield savings account because I don't have to like go on my account, you know, take money from one account, pull it to the other. None of that. All I gotta do is swipe my debit card like I normally do, buy food, buy gas groceries whatever and i get that cash that that spare chance going to my acorns so i like acorns um i got paid six dollars and 72 cents in dividends that's probably last year to now i will drew four hundred dollars because of um i want to use that money to put it somewhere else um and it's another thing i think about with acorns um Here's the roundups here that I've been, you know, using uh, stuff that comes up, but roundup, it rounded up. Um, so the thing about acorns is interesting. So you put all this money in acorns and you invest in the stock market and you're putting in that and investing in that. And it's all good and dandy. Okay. It's all good and dandy. But at what point do you take money out? You know, what point do you take money out? Because... The money that's sitting there, you really can't use the money. And it's not like, see, the dividends that you do receive goes back to buy more fractional shares automatically. So you can't, let me put it this way. If I were to bought regular dividend paying stocks, right? Let's say um, just regular stocks. That pays a monthly dividend. Alright. If I bought enough stocks and shares to make hypothetically five hundred dollars a month. Let's say I make a five hundred bucks a month on dividend paying stocks. Well, I could take out two fifty for myself. For myself to do whatever and put two fifty back into the market. And then the next month, I get another five hundred dollars. See the thing about Dividend paying stocks is once you bought enough and get a nice cash flow going, then you could take that money and buy more stocks. Eventually, if you keep on buying stocks over the years, you're gonna make four to five hundred dollars per month or per quarter. You could take out two hundred dollars for yourself for a bill and put the rest of the money towards buying more stocks. In Acorns, you can't even do that. Those dividends, which is not a bad idea. <clears throat> not a bad idea to go ahead and invest it back into stocks. Nothing wrong with that, but if you really need the money, you really can't use it. As if rather you buying full shares of a company and you get dividends, uh, you know, uh, you get the money whenever to. Like right now on Robinhood, I probably make monthly, I say, thirteen dollars a month right now. What's well, not a lot of money? Is there's no point in me taking thirteen dollars out? I take thirteen bucks and buy more stocks. But over time, if I keep buying stocks, 
get my dividend, put buying more stocks. I'm gonna get to a point in hundred dollars per month. Still not a lot of money, but over time I can still buy more stocks, buy more stocks, and buy more stocks. And eventually I can make four to five hundred bucks per month if you look at it that way. And I can just withdraw some or make $150 per month. I can take 50 bucks out for myself and hundred dollars in stocks. What, what I'm trying to say is this. With acorns, you can't take the you can withdraw the money, but you don't control your investment. Which is not there's nothing wrong with that. You don't control your investment. Um We've added acorns later. So they added acorns later to this. So it's crazy. So in my acorns later, I was only deposited 75 bucks. And right now the $82 because of dividends. So right now with that same $72, well, I'm turning 72 to $848. I ain't put no money into it whatsoever. So Let's go to Acorns later. I am at a dollar and four three cents in dividends. I'm getting dividends all the time. Acorns later is pretty cool too because they'll invest for you and you get dividends. All you do is throw money in it. And Acorns is just a Roth RA. Any dividends you put into it is tax free when you turn to 59, I believe. But back to my main point, it's cool to have the money in here and you see it and whatever. But, you know, this big drop was when I took the money out. But what's your end goal? Are you trying to have acorns for the next 30 years and don't touch it? Which is fine too. But you really can't use the money if you don't want to. So I advise people to do with acorns. First of all, use my link below the video to get acorns, number one. Number two, um, what I would do is... If you got something amazing coming up, take the money out because you throwing money in here and you, they, they're taking money from your account. It's not benefit you whatsoever. So um, what I want to say is this. I, I love acorns. I don't have reincarnation going in. You know, I haven't put them really money in. It's a really good sales account for me. I like it because it, it got me started into Robin Hood. So once I got the acorns... It's how I began dividends, and it's automatically I transitioned to Robinhood. So Acorns is like a basic, excuse me, beginner app, which you should be doing at, which you should be doing is transition to buying full shares, um, full shares, and also um, ETFs. So that's my update to Acorns. Real quick video, um, probably update sooner or later, but. If you're on the fence with acorns, you shouldn't be. It's very easy. We're just set at one time. You type your debit cards to this thing. It's on autopilot. It's just gonna round up to the next dollar. Or you can have it set to whatever. To the next two, three, or ten dollars. Why is there a dollar to keep it in perspective? Um, I have other apps as well. I have I have the Worthy Bonds app that I, I invest in bonds. I got acorns. I have Robinhood. I invest in stocks. So Again, you want to put your money into different buckets. Don't put all your money in the savings account, which is nothing wrong with it. But you're only getting 1.3% of your money. You should put your money in other investments to make some money. And stocks is one. If you and I have I have worthy bonds that pays you know ten dollars for a bond and you get five percent of return, which is pretty decent. So you want to get into that, I have a link below for Worthy Bonds. I have a link below for Acorns. And you want to check out Robinhood and start buying full shares and start getting some dividends and start building you a dividend portfolio, which you, you can control. Um, do it that way. So that's it for my video. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and I'll see you next time.